Hi, Carlos Raúl. Sorry. Carlos Shadows here. Fuck, that was our crap start. Carlos Shadows here. And uh, welcome to another video. Uh, and as you maybe uh, see, uh, I don't have my uh, arm watch, watch, whatever it's called, uh, around my arm. It's because the thing that uh, you can change the time with uh, is uh, broken, so either I'm going to uh, go buy or to be prepared, or I'm going to buy a new one. So, if you used one. Oh, and uh, on my other arm, uh, I uh, it's two arm wrists. Or something uh, or two from two bands, uh, one from Every Hand Trade and the other one of uh, War Point Angel. If you see it, uh, it's because uh, well I've got them and uh, I forgot to put just put them on uh, because uh, I want to show which bands I'm on. I'm supporting. God damn it! It's kind of like. Uh, the shirts you wear, uh, but just with arm wrists, with wrists, wrist brands, whatever it's called. Yeah, you get the point. Anyway, uh, well, as you maybe can see in the title, uh, wherever it is, uh, I'm pretty fed up with this two side argument. Uh, you know, the stuff uh, like we against them, black and white, Christians against atheists and uh, all the other kind of things, yes and no, the two-sided arguments or whatever you want to call them, uh, when people only see two sides of things. Well, this video will be a world uh, opinion kind of video. Uh, not really that much music dedicated, uh, but uh, it still may have some kind of some relevance to music as well. Uh, but anyway, I um, don't really like this kind of uh, kind of thing where people only do this we against them thing and there's only two sides in argument uh, and stuff and well yeah you could view it uh, in that way but uh, isn't it pretty stupid that in this kind of society we have today but we ha haven't gone beyond that point for now. Don't you think that too? It was pretty much in the wars and stuff that it was just two sides. But even then, uh, there were there is more than just two sides of it. And. I guess it's really rooted uh, into our minds and uh, spines, this kind of thinking that uh, uh, we are better than them and uh, yeah, this thing that it's only two parts in, a, in every kind of situation. And uh, like uh, pro gay and uh, anti gay, and uh, you know, all this, uh, um, it maybe it's pretty, uh, well you can see that I'm pretty tired of it. This kind of argument, and uh, well, if you ask me, 
there are a lot more ways to view it as uh, than yes or no or black and white then the in uh, I don't, don't really know how to say it but when you put things in only two uh, sides like uh, like a coin theory and that there's only two sides of a coin that's pretty wrong actually because there's al also another side the that one side even if it uh, is uh, not really easy for a coin to land on that uh, in that way uh, it's still possible um, yeah and I view it more like like there are a lot of different kind of ways to view things uh, I view it as that every every person and every kind of subject has more than uh, has as many views as there is people alive. Well, indeed, that uh, a lot of people would have very similar uh, point of views in some kind of topics but it's still not uh, it's a very much uh, of a personal level all kind of opinions and all kind of arguments uh, that is because every one of us has uh, experienced a lot of different kind of events, events and uh, scenes and uh, things in our lives that makes make us uh, change or form our opinion about different stuff. Like uh, some do like pancakes, some don't. Uh, some think uh, they are okay, but they don't prefer. Uh, they prefer other meals and um, yeah this and uh, there's even some that uh, don't care uh, about pancakes at all and you even have to count in those who cannot eat pancakes those who are direct to all those ingredients that's in this uh, meal this dinner so yeah it's it's a lot uh, I really view it if you like uh, well you can of course if you want to uh, view it uh, that way uh, two side way but I think that uh, what a lot of people like to put things in lists and uh, only have uh, a few choices of uh, things uh, is because the people want it simple people don't want to things to be complicated if you know what I mean um, uh, and to keep it uh, we against them kind of theory uh, really makes it simple because uh, if you're not with us you're against us and that kind of stuff uh, um, well maybe it's uh, good if you are on a team and stuff uh, like in sports that I can understand this view of things but and also if you are uh, like a child or a very young kid uh, so to say um, like a 
understand uh, why you have this sort of thinking. But if you if you are grown up, come on, seriously, do you really think that the world is that simple? No, it isn't. In and. And well, I could go on with this topic uh, for so damn long because there's so many different kind of uh, topics that uh, I could uh, talk about with this kind of logic. Um, for example, uh, atheist uh, and uh, uh, theists or Christians, uh, which is a uh, uh, pretty more popular thing to view it as uh, it isn't just that kind of thing god damn it it isn't just those two ways of uh, viewing how the world started and uh, how you view how this world works So yeah, uh, I could maybe I, this is uh, like a video just showing how uh, my opinion about uh, we against them uh, kind of thinking and stuff uh, and what I more prefer because every one on this earth, uh, everyone, just everyone have different ways of thinking about stuff and I think it would be better if even if it's a really bad uh, use of word uh, uh, I think uh, it would be easier <laughs> strange enough if uh, we Complicated, complicated it, uh, and just ask the per people themselves how they view things and stuff instead of uh, instead of just a yes and no answer kind of thing. Um, And I probably should have uh, prepared more for this video, but anyway, uh, I think, and maybe I will do another video about this later too, but uh, I think for now this will be pretty much enough, if I didn't, well, let's see about that. What do you think? Um, how do you... What do you think of the uh, we against them or two sided kind of argument thing? Um, or just how you view the world at all? Uh, yes, I can understand it myself and. Uh, Categories can indeed uh, make uh, it uh, simply make it easier for uh, uh, getting to understanding before and what kind of uh, person, what kind of things that person might like. With just example for genres, uh, putting down in genres, uh, so you understand uh, somewhat how how the bands uh, how the band would sound like. Uh, and like saying, uh, for example, uh, someone was saying I like that chord, so you know approximately what kind of sound that person like. Uh, not completely, but uh, you have some kind of clue uh, what that person is interested in. Uh, so, but 
to really, uh, but uh, you still have to uh, ask the person uh, more detail, uh, more what kind of bands that person like them, uh, because labels are just some kind of like a navigation for things. Uh, how I view it. Uh, but you really have to ask the person, uh, him or herself, uh, to really know that person reasons for uh, having that kind of point of view and uh, why that person like or dislike that and stuff like that. And uh, yeah. Like if you're asking uh, what kind of death combats that person like, uh, so the person maybe uh, tell that uh, he he or she likes um, Ultra Purge, uh, White Chapel, Ocean O, uh, Dive Devourer, uh, Devourer, maybe I slaughtered that name now. Uh, Labyrinth and um, a few other bands. Uh, so uh, it's a little bit stupid uh, if you uh, in forehand says, oh no, uh, like uh, already presuming that they like something that they actually don't do. Uh, like uh, even if that person don't, don't like suicide silence, that uh, all they assume that they do like suicide silence. Uh, just for example, um, I see this behavior in so many different um, topics and just everywhere, and I, I'm really tired of seeing this behavior uh, simplifying things because uh, people use uh, labels uh, whatever if it's genres or if it is uh, religion and other kind of stuff uh, like they like to dump people down like uh, making them uh, into a crown uh, so they look like more stupid than they actually are, not really understanding that kind of group or that kind of behavior, that kind of topic at all, which really saddens me when people just uh, generalize. And by the way, I don't mean uh, if you joke about it, uh, you just uh, have it like a, uh, saying it for fun, uh, to mock this kind of thinking or something like that. But if you are serious about it, uh, just know what the fuck. Uh, So yeah, uh, I think that's my view of it. Maybe I will go through it more thoroughly uh, later in later video to uh, explain all fucking kind of things so that uh, yeah, to ask for something like that. Uh, because if you uh, if there was something that you I'm not really sure what I meant about uh, in this video. Uh, please ask me so I can explain it more, or maybe even uh, do another video to uh, really um, attack this topic again, or whatever you call it. Uh, so. Um, more deeper and broader or something like that. 
with what I'm thinking about this week because I think it, this really should be uh, encountered uh, and uh, this I will always call it a uh, problem yeah. to yeah just uh, tackle this problem uh, because in my eyes uh, it, it's really stupid if you have this kind of thoughts like uh, I used for example to uh, Take an example in metal, like uh, either it's metal or it's not metal, because they are they are indeed uh, bands that you know for sure that this is metal, and other bands that you know that this is not metal. Like uh, just for example, uh, I'm on Mars. I'm pretty sure that no one really can say that they're not metal uh, while uh, for example uh, my chemical romance uh, just take an example uh, at least the later stuff uh, is not metal uh, but uh, things like uh, Post hardcore stuff like uh, I Did to Remember and uh, We Came to Romance and well, uh, stuff in the in that kind of things and uh, also like Linkin Park. Uh, the early stuff is uh, indeed uh, what I would uh, call it metal, but um, the later stuff, uh, not really. Uh, but in between there, uh, so yeah, uh, I think you understand that there, there's something that's uh, more on the line that uh, you're not really sure if you really can call it metal or not. Uh, so it has met metallic sound in them, but uh, you're not really sure if you really can call it metal because of that. Uh, so yeah. Used to say uh, show a, uh, example, throw it out there. Uh, well, maybe a lot of you wouldn't uh, consider them the uh, those uh, those band that I mentioned uh, as metal as all, because I know that in fact for a fact that. This topic um, is it okay for people? Uh, okay, of course I I think that it's okay for people to have this uh, sort of uh, thinking, but uh, of course it's okay. But uh, I think it's extremely stupid if you have it. Uh, that's no question about it. Uh, if you ask me. Uh, you are extremely stupid if you have it, it but uh, I won't say that you should uh, that you cannot have it. That's what I'm trying to say. Uh, at least if you are a grown up uh, person. So yeah. Uh, that's my view of it all. This all. And if you got a question, just you know where where to. Ask. And uh, before I end this video, uh, there's two more things I'm going to uh, talk about. First one is <coughs> sorry is. Uh, about the metal tournament I'm going to have uh, this kind of 
uh, I think it was fifth. Uh, I want sixteen bands in this, but uh, I really want. Pi uh, I don't got enough bands yet, and uh, I want you to throw in more bands than you sixteen, so I have some to choose from. And uh, don't be afraid to just throw in some uh, band names and stuff. Uh, because I really think that this uh, can be a really interesting thing. Uh, uh, both bands that I, I do listen to and bands that I don't listen to. And uh, I'm going to listen to those bands that I haven't listened to yet that you have uh, that you go are going to be in this uh, metal tournament and that I haven't heard of yet that you have uh, yeah. So, uh, throw in, you used to throw in all, all, all bands that you think uh, will be interesting to uh, hear about in, in this tournament. And uh, I choose 16 of, uh, of the bands that, uh, yeah, 16 of the bands. Uh, and uh, I will then have them in the tournament, so it will be one against one uh, until there's only two left. Uh, and uh, well, uh, I see this more of a like uh, funny stuff, funny thing. Uh, so, and it, it's going, of course, to be uh, my opinion about it because, yeah. Uh, but, but anyway, I think it, it will be really funny. Uh, and uh, for a moment, uh, I'm not really sure if, it, if I will be able to do this this uh, month, I mean in November. But, uh, so I think this will be, uh, will go off in maybe January, I don't know, but um, yeah, I think this is a thing uh, that you really can look for, except for the uh, thing in December, uh, the top 10 uh, bands for every year uh, from uh, 2000. So anyway, that's how the future looks like for some stuff, and uh, yeah, uh, if you don't get any uh, comment about the topic of this video, uh, I hope that you at least can uh, throw in a comment uh, about some bands that you want in this tournament that I'm going to have. So yeah, and the last thing for this video before I close this is the little review I'm going to do. And it's going to be about this release. This is to take off the. It's edition. Uh, this wretched word. It says, I think, uh, I hope you see this one. It's not a glare or something like that in it. And. Uh, well, it's uh, not the lyric book, it's just uh, the cover of the, the CD and uh, then uh, just the CD itself. It's just that, but anyway, uh, a really extremely good uh, uh, symphonic death chord. Uh, it is an EP, of course. Uh, I, don't pr I think it was uh, released 2012. If I remember right, uh, and uh, it was one of the first uh, Sponic Death Core bands that I listened to. Uh, really, really good uh, indeed. And uh, they, I think they released a new EP just now recently, or they will uh, release it really, really soon. But uh, the sad thing with them is that they have split up now and that they are no more. 
they're just going to release the, this CD, uh, I mean album, uh, this EP. Uh, and the sad thing with it is uh, that uh, they're not going to be in physical copies of that. So that's really sad. Uh, hopefully there will be, uh, but uh, I have asked them and it seems to be that the yeah, there will be no, no, no such thing. So that's really sad because uh, they they really extremely good on this one. And uh, what I heard of the single after this one uh, that I think uh, will be or are is on or is or or on the. Uh, I mean, will be on the uh, the other EP released around this time, and uh, yeah, uh, I can definitely recommend them uh, for most of you deathcore fans. But uh, yeah, uh, for even for those who like uh, Flesh Color Apocalypse, for example, uh, even for them. Uh, and uh, yeah, they really extremely good uh, indeed. Uh, and sad, sad that they split up. Uh, seems that a lot of bands split up now or reform or whatever. Really, uh, ch changing of times. And uh, this is one of the uh, top. EPs of 2012, if it was released last year. Uh, anyway, you will, see, you will definitely see it in the top 10 EP list for the year that it was uh, released. So you will definitely see it in one of those lists. Yeah. Uh, for a short time there w was a, they were active. They were really fucking good, and uh, even if they have slip split up now, uh, I can still definitely recommend you to listen to them. And uh, I think this one is still available uh, to buy. Uh, I just don't remember. I think it was a big short or something like that uh, that you can buy it from. And uh, they will still uh, ship away the this. Uh, I think they mentioned something like that. Uh, so be not afraid to buy this one. Uh, so yeah, I can definitely recommend this one. Uh, indeed, uh, it's a total of uh, if I, uh, six songs. Uh, first song being the um, intro song. So, well, you can say it's five songs with an intro. Uh, so, yeah. And, uh, well, it's thoroughly a really good uh, EP, indeed. Really wish that they uh, did a full length. Uh, so, yeah. And I really hope that uh, they are going to reform more. Split. So, because what they did was really amazing indeed. But uh, if they are unable to do it, or if they have, well, they have the reasons for splitting up. So uh, I wish them just the best of luck in whatever they are going to do. So yeah. And uh, if I remember right, uh, this is uh, now when I upload this video, it is Halloween. So I don't really have any Halloweenish thing. I don't think so. Uh, well, maybe I got. Uh, like this kind of stuff uh, in a few parts of my home, but. Uh, well, I well, maybe can count this as Halloweenish. 
Aranyai. Uh, well, I, at least it will be a really awesome uh, weekend for me. Uh, uh, if I remember right, there's some role playing and some um, not listening, and I will listen. We will just sit a friend of mine. So, anyway, yeah, that's just some uh, ERL stuff for me. Anyway, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video, and uh, maybe I made you think once or twice or anything. And hopefully, uh, you will comment on this video because I really want to interact with people and stuff. Uh, so if you are thinking about uh, commenting on this video, please do it uh, because I it's better to interact with people so you can uh, sh uh, exchange uh, views on stuff and uh, maybe also uh, explain a few things uh, and uh, tell your view about things. So yeah. That's just my. That's everything for now, and I want uh, uh, keeping this video going on for too long uh, because I know the how big can be uh, when you deserve too fucking damn long. And uh, yeah, that should be everything. And uh, keep it up.